You want to put your first thousand dollars into crypto, but where do you start? With the bear market in full effect, smart buyers are beginning to come out of hibernation looking for those delicious crypto deals. And in fact, it's times like these where I've made my best investments. It was actually back in 2021, I was able to pay off my student loans and car by a small investment I made in early 2020 when no one was talking about crypto. In fact, everyone was saying it was going to zero. Sound familiar? So now we're here and you're asking the question, where should you put your first thousand dollars? Well, I can't tell you what to do, but I would tell you what I would do if I was in your shoes. And by the end of this video, you're not going to feel as overwhelmed. You're going to know where to put your money and you'll be kicking yourself asking, why didn't I watch this sooner? And I'm breaking this up into four different parts. Part one is the best core cryptos. And this is the low risk area of our portfolio. Part two is medium risk best alternative coins. Part three is high risk, small coins, meaning you have more potential for growth, but also more potential for loss. And part four is a bonus method that we're going to use to multiply all of your crypto investments. Part one is building the core of your portfolio. And this is where you want to put at least 50% of your funds. This is the lowest risk section of a portfolio. And when I'm investing with my core portfolio, I expect a five to seven extra turns between now and the next bull run. And according to Coinbase, one of the largest crypto exchanges out there, anything over a 10 billion market cap is considered a large crypto. And at this point in time, there are actually only nine cryptos right now with an overall market cap of over $10 billion. And two of them are stable coins. So that leaves us seven different projects to choose from to make up this part of our portfolio. Granted, depending on the time you watch this, there could be more coins that meet that bill or there could be less. At the peak of the bull run, I believe there were 30 or 40 projects over 10 billion in market cap so you can see the fluctuation here now out of these seven out of the top nine that you could put your portfolio in i'm actually only going to choose one and that is ethereum when it comes to investing in cryptocurrency ethereum and bitcoin are the two safest projects you can invest in. And the reason why I put air quotes around that is because investing in any crypto is risky. And according to traditional finance, there's some people that don't even invest in Bitcoin because it's not established enough yet. However, when it comes to the top 10 cryptos, they have fluctuated greatly over the last five years. However, the two that have remained at the top, number one and number two is Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I don't think that they're going anywhere. And I look at these as the gold standard of investing in crypto. Now, the reason why I'm choosing Ethereum over Bitcoin is because Ethereum isn't going anywhere. Now, is it the most efficiently ran crypto? Absolutely not. But I'm putting 50% of my portfolio in Ethereum. And here are the three reasons why. Between Ethereum and Bitcoin, Ethereum will have the higher returns than Bitcoin come the next bull run. But you still have the same level of risk. And near the end of the last bull run, Ethereum started to correlate with the movement of the altcoins. And I think we're going to see that even more in the future and in the upcoming bull runs, meaning that Ethereum and Bitcoin are going to pump first, and then that money is going to flow into smaller altcoins and other projects. So if you really wanted to, and what I'm planning on doing is as Ethereum pumps, I'll siphon off some of that money into some of my other projects. And the last reason I'm putting my money into Ethereum is because of the founder Vitalik Buterin. Despite what you like or dislike about Ethereum, when we're investing in projects, we're investing in the team members and the leaders of those projects. And Vitalik Buterin, is one of the most intelligent human beings alive. There's a rumor that he has an IQ of 257, which is over 50% higher than that of Elon Musk. And although a good IQ doesn't necessarily translate to a business succeeding or not, there is some correlation there. Not to mention Ethereum is the top cryptocurrency with an actual founder that's doxxed. We don't know who created Bitcoin. Let's move into the next section of our portfolio, the alternative coins, which are medium risk. And this is classified as anything under 10 billion in market cap to that of a 200 million market cap. And this is where I'm putting 40% of my portfolio. When I actually made my investment in early 2020, that made me a lot of money. It was actually on a project that had about a 200 million market cap at the time that ended up ballooning to over a 10 billion market cap. So you can kind of get a feel for what happens in bull runs. It can easily 50x if it's a good project. But that was last bull run and the returns this time probably aren't going to be as high. So I'm expecting this section of my portfolio to 10 to 30x 
and I'm looking at four different projects here. Now, one of the first main issues I'm looking at for crypto to solve is with the actual scalability issues to that of Ethereum. And there are a couple of cryptos that are striving to do that. First up is Near Protocol, and it's already down 80% from its all-time high. It deals with a technology called sharding, a proof-of-stake blockchain founded by two MIT tech developers, and it's already implementing the sharding technology that Ethereum 2.0 is saying it's bringing to the table. It can can process a hundred thousand transactions per minute and this is why as of right now there are over 750 different projects building on the near protocol ecosystem it has over 450 million dollars in assets locked up on it and it's partnered with filecoin which deals with cloud storage. Another huge area I see blockchain taking by storm in the coming years. Another mid cap coin that I think would be great to look at is the internet of blockchains Cosmos. This network was designed around interoperability within the different blockchains out there. And this is achieved through their protocol IBC, which allows for the communications within the different blockchains. So if they can actually pull this off, it's going to be huge. They also have a tool that's being used by Binance and crypto.com just to name a few of the companies that are using it and these are two of the biggest exchanges out there it's also been announced too that adam is coming out with their own validators meaning that they're going to have a stronger network and they're going to allow users to be able to create those validators and earn passive income now adam like the rest of these coins is already down 75 percent from its all-time high but it's still sitting at an eight billion dollar market cap and the last mid cap i'm going to be looking on on the list which is the smallest by the way is dag constellation this is another layer one that's looking to solve some of ethereum's issues i actually became sold on this when i went to the dag constellation conference in beverly hills a few weeks ago now what makes dag unique is there's a lot of things but some things include 50,000 transactions per minute, as well as there are no fees associated with the transactions on DAG. And this means it's going to be huge for scaling. There's going to be so many projects. There already are so many projects that want to build on DAG. And DAG is vetting and handpicking every single project that is built on them. So there's a lot of high quality projects that are building on the DAG network right now. I think they're going right now more so for quality over quantity. It has four founders and they're all very different, but they've all been saying the same message consistently since 2018, which is one of the reasons why I think DAG really excelled over this last bull run. They've been securing partnerships with the security of defense, these government contracts. I don't see that slowing down anytime soon. So I think that's a really good place to look at now moving on to the last section of our portfolio which are those dirty degenerate crypto plays this is either where you're going to thousand extra money or you're going to lose everything which is why i don't recommend putting more than 10 percent of your entire portfolio into here this is the equivalent of going down to your local gas station taking 100 dollars and putting it on the powerball it's most likely not going to work out but when it does it's going to work out really well but this is why i wouldn't recommend putting more than 10 percent of your portfolio here because of the risk of losing everything. However, don't think that $50 can't be enough for life-changing money. I knew people who put $15 into Shiba Inu in August of 2020, and then they thousand X their money and they made $15,000. Now that's most likely not going to happen to you, but don't rule it out. Now, when it comes to these high risk projects, I actually don't even have any that I'm invested in right now or any to recommend to you, except the only one that I'm currently in right now is a project called Yield Nodes that I've talked about before. Last month, I made about $2,000 on a $22,000 investment. But once again, this is a high risk play and it doesn't even make sense if you're starting with $1,000 because it's a minimum $500 investment. So you would need at least $5,000 of your total portfolio for this to even make sense. What about the bonus method? Well, I actually have two. The first being is any crypto that you invest in, whether it's in this video or in the future, you can stake that crypto for passive income. So if you head over to DeFi Llama, you can look and see where staking is offered for that. And what that'll allow you to do is earn additional interest on the crypto you're already holding. So for example, I like Near Protocol. I wanna stake my Near Protocol and I can earn an additional 8% on that Near Protocol. So that's number one. The number two bonus method is just a thing called dollar cost averaging. So the real question is, 
is, is how do I continually invest a thousand dollars every month? Because that's where the real money is made. And this can be done by creating other vehicles for passive income, such as side hustles or other businesses, things I talk about on this channel. So you could go out right now, you could get a job at Uber or Lyft. And if you invest that money right, come the next bull run, it could be 10x what it was when you invested it. So if you're out there making, you know, 20 bucks an hour, which really isn't that much money in the grand scheme of things, that could be worth $200 an hour if you were invested that right in the future. And that's how I'm thinking about things in this recession. What can I do now? What hustles can I pick up? What businesses can I start to really multiply and leverage my time in the coming future? Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.